Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Dan Drew with your weather on demand for UpperMichiganSource.com. Well, August was another chilly one. We were looking at an average temperature of 61.7 degrees. That's about two degrees below average. And in fact, if we look at the entire year, there's only been two months out of our eight so far that have been above average. And both of those were about eh, a half degree above average. So even that wasn't much warmer than our long term average. We also uh, experienced quite a bit of wet weather. We were looking at about 4.7, 4.47 inches of rain, which is uh, about an inch and a half above average. So it's been very wet and a rather chilly August out there as well. Now this evening we're keeping tabs on that cold front that is passing through the upper peninsula, the remnants of which are starting to see the showers fading out in the eastern upper peninsula. We're seeing some clearing skies out west now and they're slowly working their way north and eastward and we are continuing that trend of clearing skies throughout the course of the evening. That cold front is pushing off eastward and in fact in northern lower Michigan earlier this afternoon we were looking at some severe weather and even one instance of a tornado out there. But off to the west, we would expect with high pressure building in that we'd see a little more uh, sunshine out through Minnesota. But through Minnesota and the Dakotas, there's an upper level disturbance, and that's what's going to be causing some of those scattered showers out there. Now for tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with some of that. In fact, as that cold front passes through, we do have high pressure and control. But uh, with those partly to mostly cloudy skies, we could see a few showers pop up later in the day, and that's because of that disturbance. And by Wednesday, it's going to be more of the same. Except this time we do have another cold front on our doorstep and that could mean bad things as we get into Wednesday or excuse me as we get into Thursday. Overnight we'll be looking at temperatures dropping down into the 50s, partly to mostly cloudy skies and uh, the mostly cloudy skies will probably be a little bit further east as it takes some of those clouds a little bit longer to get out of there with some brisk west winds. Then for your wake up forecast tomorrow for every, everybody going back to school for the first day, we'll be looking at temperatures back into the 50s, partly to mostly cloudy skies. You won't have to dodge any raindrops tomorrow, so that should be good news with a brisk west southwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then uh, tomorrow for the rest of your day, temperatures back into the 60s, close to 70 in the western UP, partly to mostly cloudy skies with a chance of a scattered shower out there. As well uh, in the central UP, we'll be looking at a little bit more of the same. Temperatures closer to 70, maybe a little bit into the 70s. And in the eastern UP, well, uh, just uh, put it on repeat because 70 degree temperatures right around there, partly to mostly cloudy skies with that chance of some scattered showers. Your TV six day forecast, we do have a brief warm up for Wednesday and Thursday, but oh boy, by the time we get to the weekend, it does cool off and it feels a lot more like fall. Although the trade off on this one is that for the weekend, we should be looking dry. Have a wonderful evening.